We're going to take a quick look at how CTR theme functions. And to do so, we're starting off with a base install of WordPress running the 2010 theme. And the only thing that I've done so far is uploaded CTR theme to the um, WordPress themes directory. I've added a single article and I've changed the site name to dog training CTR sample. So everything else has, has been left alone. Um, and from here, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to activate CTR theme. So to do that, what we do is we jump into the WordPress admin section and we go to appearance and we select activate on the CTR theme. Now once we've done that, we'll have a new option that appears on the left hand side and when we click on that, it takes us to our CTR theme settings. These settings are broken down into three sections. We have activation settings, general site options, and AdSense options. Activation settings, when we click on the plus button, expands and we can see that it contains two fields, one for our email address and our CTR theme activation code. And once these are inserted, then CTR theme will function as it's supposed to. The second option that we have is for general site options, and this is where we set the general look and feel for CTR theme. Here we can choose between various sub-theme options. So we have four that are displaying right here. Uh, we've got the default selected, which takes a text-based site header, which we can see right here. If we switch over to a theme that expects an image-based header, then we'll see that that swaps out for a site header image, which is a file upload dialog. We'll switch back to the default theme. That's what we're going to use for this example. And all we're going to do here is just type in what we want our site header to be. So we want that to be dog training information. So we've got that set how we want, and then we scroll down. The next two options that we have are for pushdown images. Now pushdown images serve the purpose of sliding our ads closer to the fold point, um, so that basically what we see on screen are mostly advertisements and a couple of pictures uh, and, and very few links um, that anyone can click on. Really a, an opportunity for us to feature our advertisements and put them in the best possible position to get high click through. So we're going to take advantage of that. We're going to upload two images that have already been resized. Um, these should be resized to a 326 by 280. So nearly matching the size of an ad block, just leaving space for a 10 pixel margin. So we upload those and they're in place. And then we slide down and we have an option here to override the sub themes default color scheme. Now, if we click on this, we get a bunch of additional options where we can put in uh, colors that we want to appear for the site's uh, links. Um, the link, URL, background color, etc. These will also map directly to our Google Ads. Um, so it will automatically blend between the theme and the advertisement. We're going to roll with the default, so we're going to leave that unchecked. And then we see we have an option for Google Analytics code. If we entered this, it would be placed on every single page of the site. Uh, we'll leave it blank and suppose that we'll use a different plugin for inserting that information. Finally, we have an option here to disable the CTR theme footer link. Uh, by default, there will be a link back that appears in your footer that points to ctrtheme.com. You're welcome to disable that if you'd like. Okay, the third panel that we have is for AdSense options. And the first two options that we have here are for disabling ad serving. The first disables ads altogether. Uh, this is useful if you have uh, a very minimal amount of content on your site, but you want your site to be indexed. So for example, if you throw up one page and you just want to start the clock ticking on the aging process for the, for the site, in that instance, you may want to disable ad serving um, since you don't have substantial enough content to really merit having, um, having ads running on the page. The second option is to hide ads from specific referrers. Now this is useful if you already have your site up and running and you're submitting through, say on a link building campaign, uh, and you want to submit through to manually reviewed directories like Yahoo Directory, DMOZ, Best of the Web, uh, any of those directories where you feel an editor's opinion might be skewed by the presence of ads in prominent positions on your site. If you want them to focus instead only on your content, then you can hide ads from them individually. So if we type in surf.yahoo.com, which is the referral URL that you'll see for a Yahoo Directory editor, or dmoz.org, or botw.org for Best of the Web, if we uh, insert those as our, um, as our values here, then ads will be hidden from anyone who's referred from those specific domains. The next options that we have below are for the insertion of our AdSense code. Now we have uh, a 160 by 600 block, a 336 by 280 block, a 728 by 90 block, and a 728 by 15 link unit. 
Those are the standard ad sizes that are used on CTR theme sub themes and the reason being those are the ad units that tend to generate the highest click through rate um, in particular for the ads that um, ad placement combinations that have been tested here. I've already taken the liberty of grabbing my ad code from Google AdSense and pasting it into a text editor for easy use here. So what I'm going to do is just copy and paste my code. Okay, now I'm not going to place code in for the 728 by 15 link unit. Let's just say that I don't want to use that unit. Um, you can leave any of these blank and CTR theme will just not put anything in that space instead. It will just let the site run naturally. So for example, if instead of placing a 336 by 280 block, if we left that blank, this would all be textual in this space. As we scroll down, we can see the um, ad layouts that appear here. We have a variety of different ad layouts to choose from that are proven to have a high click-through rate. What you can do with these is you can select uh, any of the ones that you'd like and then CTR theme will automatically rotate between those. So for example, if we said we wanted to rotate between six units but we didn't want this variation to be included, we could just uncheck that and then CTR theme would choose between the remaining six uh, for placing advertisements. If on the other hand we had one unit that we were particularly fond of, let's say it was this one which I call the roadblock. Um, you could just click on this one and then deselect all of the other items and then CTR theme won't rotate through advertisement placements and instead will only utilize that placement on every single page of your site and every single page view. So we're going to just leave them all in place and we're going to save our changes. So when we go back to the public facing side and we hit refresh we now see our site in place uh, utilizing our push down images we've got our ad blocks uh, the 160 by 600 here we've got a 336 by 280 um, and we can see that those are in place using one of the options that we made available for ad placements and if we just go ahead and refresh this page uh, we'll see that this can reload with a different ad layout so each time someone comes to your site they'll be greeted with a different uh, a different placement of advertisements so rotation based on the options that we selected so the neat thing about this is that they can't expect the advertisements to be in one place and overlook them instead on each page view um, you know they'll get them in a variety of positions so it increases the likelihood that someone will take notice of your advertisements and hopefully click on them so you can see that using CTR theme, it's easy for even a person with limited computer knowledge and no coding experience to quickly and easily create attractive websites that also get a high click-through rate. 